We're now just going to look at the final example in this chapter, and there's nothing, uh, there's nothing new in here, but uh, you know it's longer and it's kind of, uh, kind of fun, and you can just uh, sit back and watch it go. And uh, at the same time, I'm also going to uh, show you Clippy for the first time. Uh, Clippy is the thing that gives you uh, advice on when your code is needlessly long or. You know, maybe it's using too much uh, allocation, allocating memory when you don't need to. So uh, anyway, we are going to uh, we're going to work with some uh, some strings here, some names, and um, you know we uh, so we're going to put together a um, a struct of names, and uh, we're going to want to print it. So uh, we'll just derive debug. Uh, we won't uh, we won't do display because. Uh, we're not going to bother yet. So we're going to imagine we have all these names and some of them are one word long, some of them are two words long, some are three words long, and we want to put one word into here, uh, we want to put uh, two words into here, and three words into here. We want to split them up, so we will make each of them a uh, vec of strings, vec of strings, like that. So we'll do that with two words. So we're putting all these vex together into this struct. And that is our only struct. And then we are going to uh, vec of names. Uh, actually, I'm going to copy this in because it's a whole bunch of names of various uh, famous people. And some of them, um, actually Caesar here, he's got more than one name. It's like it's Gaius, uh, Julius Gaius, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, people call him Caesar, so he's got, he gets one name. Um, then you've got Frodo Bagans, uh, Bilbo Bagans, and you can see they're separated by a space. Then you've got uh, Randall Thor from uh, Wheel of Time, Paul Atreides from Dune. And then you have some, uh, some real people. You have uh, Obama, he's got three names, Barack Hussein Obama. And then you have Bill Clinton, his middle name is Jefferson. So then you can see their you know, spaces, and we'll, we'll use these to determine um, how long it is. So we will first, uh, let's put together a uh, iter of names. So mutable iter of names. And this is the, uh, the peekable thing. So vec of uh, names. Let's uh, iterate down here. Uh, dot uh, peekable. So that was uh, easy. We've done this twice already. And then now we're going to, uh, let's make an empty uh, empty one of these to start. And we'll make it, uh, you know, these empty vex, and we'll make it mutable. So we'll say, uh, we'll call it all names. And this is going to be a names. And then uh, we got uh, one word, what's in there? Well, we don't know yet. So we'll just give it a blank vec. Uh, two words, that, what's that going to be? A vec, and then three words, that will also be a vec, <clears throat> and a semicolon to finish off the, uh, the declaration. And now we're going to use the, the power of uh, peaking, and we're going to do uh, iter of, well, iter.names.peak is sum. And uh, we're, what are we going to do? We will uh, say let next item equals uh, iter of names dot next, and then uh, unwrap. And so we have uh, is sum here. Um, so we we know that uh, we can we can unwrap. And then uh, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to match it. So we will say uh, next item dot uh, match indices and you might remember this we uh, we learned it in uh, about two videos ago so this will uh, give us the index of uh, you know a whole bunch of uh, of all the names and so we're going to uh, collect that into a vec and then we're going to get the length and this is the uh, the part where Clippy is going to later tell me hey you didn't need to do that uh, but we'll we'll look at that later so we're going to match the, um, let's see, we're going to match uh, how many there are. So this is a, this is kind of a funny way to do it, maybe, but it is, is a way to do it. So we, because um, match indices, if we, uh, it's probably better to do this uh, like a split 
like white space, you know, and that will just uh, split uh, split by white space, and then uh, you can get the uh, the length that way. But uh, we're going to do it this uh, using this method that we learned, and uh, this will send back, you know, it'll send back that if nothing matches. If it uh, if it matches two spaces, like with Paul Atreides, then it'll send back, you know, a Paul and an Atreides. And that length is going to be two, and then we know the length is two. So, you know, we're just find, finding a reason to uh, to use our match indices here. So uh, we know it's going to be uh, zero, one, or two spaces, and so that's what we'll do. We'll have a, uh, you know, what if it's zero? So we will say we're going to push it into all names dot uh, one word. So that is the, uh, you know, we'll push it into here. And uh, we're going to push, and it's going to be next item, and it must be a string, so to string, and then we'll do that. And then if it is a, you know, it finds one space, then we know it is two words. So we go two words, push, and uh, next item to string, and then finally, uh, it's only going to be the only other possible one is going to be. Two, but Rust doesn't know that, so we will just say, you know, anything else, and we trust ourselves that this is going to be uh, three. If we were doing like something more complicated, we would, uh, you know, find a better, better method than this. But uh, we can see all our data here. So three words dot push uh, next item to string, and then let's say for uh, uh, what are we going to call it? I'm going to say part for part uh, in, uh, let's see, do, 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 in all names. That's what it was. All names. Actually, no, we're just printing out this whole name. So uh, we have to print it out like that. And we'll just, uh, there we go. We'll just print it out and see what we get. And uh, hopefully everything uh, went well. So you can see, there it is. So we have created a names, and then inside of there we have one word, and we've got our one word names. We got Caesar and Data, uh, the two words names. They have uh, two. They have one space in them. So there they are. Jean Luc Picard. There is Randall Thor, Paul Atreides, and then three words are the two presidents, Barack Hussein Obama and Bill Jefferson Clinton, and then. So there's nothing new here, but we did get to practice uh, peak and match indices again. And then now we're going to take our first look at Clippy, which, uh, you know, in the in the playground, you can uh, go to here. This is the format. And this, this is Clippy, who will go through your code and tell you if you are doing things you don't need to do. And it's right, uh, right here. So Clippy is saying, hold on a second, you collected this into a whole new vec and then you called len when you don't need to do that when you have a uh, an iterator all you have to do is uh, use the count method to get the number of items so then you say thank you clippy and then you change that to count and then uh, you know hey do you have anything anything left to tell me and clippy says no it's uh, looking good so far so Clippy won't, you know, look at your logic here and say, you know, why are you uh, using match indices when you could be doing something else? But it will look at like, uh, you know, duplicate if you're like allocating or creating a new vec when you didn't need to, then it will definitely give you good advice there. And so we get the, uh, the same result, but we're using uh, one fewer method and we are not creating a, uh, a new vec. And so uh, our code is uh, a little bit better than before.